Today's focus, guys, we're going to work towards middle splits and pancake towards the end of the class. So we're going to get into a little warm up, get the body moving, and a lot of the drills that we're going to do are going to help with uh, two things, middle splits, okay, this guy, and then our pancake. So in order to work on our middle splits, um, we want to take care of the inner thighs. We want to stabilize the hip and then pancake. We're working on inner thighs as well as the hamstring uh, forward fold. Cool? So spread out on your mats and uh, make some space. Try not to touch anybody in the room. <laughs> Let me just set the camera up here. Dan, you're on uh, unmuted still, so the screen is on you. How do I fix that? <laughs> uh, where is, okay, here we are. No, still, still should be good. One second, guys. Why is it still on Dan? Does everyone see, okay, maybe it was just me. I was seeing Deanne on the big screen. Okay guys, we're gonna start in a nice big straddle stance today. And we're gonna just reach up and we're gonna go 10 side to sides. Okay, hang out for 10. Nine. Eight, really take, taking the ribs in to the spine. Seven, squeezing the ribs and the core six, and then glutes on, five, four, three, two, hang out there, one, zero, and we're gonna go into good mornings, hang out at the bottom, nice big proud chest, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop into your straddle and just hold. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. You're gonna grab your ankles or your shins and just pull yourself down. And just hang out there, 30 seconds. You're gonna come to the side. Big reach overhead, grab your big toe. And just try and use your hand to pull yourself down a little deeper into the stretch. And switching sides, big reach overhead, grab your big toe, and pull yourself into the stretch. Should be feeling that in the lateral line and then in the hamstring on the leg. When you're done with that, we're going to come back up. Same thing, reaching overhead, so squeezing the core, squeezing the bump, and then reaching nice big wide, reach a little further into the stretch this time, and 10. Not using your oblique muscles too, guys. We're trying to actively use those obliques, turning on the core. And four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice and strong stance in the legs, guys. Nine and ten. And good mornings for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, nice big crowd chest and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and forward fold for 30 seconds. Grab your legs and kind of pull yourself down into the stretch. Ten seconds. Breathing in and relax. And big reach way overhead. Grab your big toe. Stretching. Grab that toe and try to open up that lateral line. I want you to feel it in the lat muscles, in the obliques, and in that hamstring. And switching sides, big reach overhead. Try and grab your ankle or your toe if you can. Just grab and pull. Everything's doing okay? Good stuff guys. We're gonna drop into both hands on the ground and come to the side. And if you need to, we're going to bring one hand behind us, actually. And let's all do this. So now we're going to hang out in this upright cossi position and just stretching out the hip by pressing into the knee. And I'm trying to open up this ankle. And then if you can, you're going to try and hold this position. So again, hand assisted behind you, and then just lean forwards a little bit and try and hold. So my bum is resting on my heel. If I like, I can come up and hold. And squeeze your glute on that bent leg. Try and keep your chest up for 10 more seconds. Driving your heel into the ground. And switching sides, hands on the ground. Place the hands flat, come to the other side. One hand behind you to get positioned. Bring the elbow inside the knee. And again, you can go into an active position if you'd like. Just lifting your bum like an inch off your heel and holding that. Hand assisted if you need to, 10 more seconds. Drive the other foot into the ground, the heel nice and strong. And relax, come into froggy position. We're gonna start with the knees wide, feet together. And we're just gonna place the hands flat and do some rocking back and forth. 10 rocks. And you're going to open up your knees. So my, now my heels are open. I'm gonna to drop to my elbows. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some tension. We're gonna try and pull the knees towards each other by just engaging the inner thighs. We're gonna hold that for 30. Really squeeze those inner thigh muscles, guys. I want you to squeeze your glutes as well if you can. 
Feel your glute muscles. You've been doing a lot of glute work lately. Let's create some stability in those hips for 10 more seconds. Good work. Now you're gonna bring your feet back together and we're gonna turn those muscles back on. So the first rock we did was 10 passive. Now uh, we're gonna go 10 active. I wanna try and pull the feet toes together and then pull your knees towards one another nice and strong and turn those muscles on and give me 10 more rocks for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, nice and strong, and rest. Okay, stand back up. You're gonna come back into that contact squat. All right, nice and stance, nice and wide stance here. Try and have your, your big toes forwards or 45 degrees out to the side. And then we're gonna come back, hand on the ground, load up that foot. Okay, bring the hands behind you to get positioned. This is totally fine. And then I want you to bring one elbow inside the knee. And we're gonna hold that for another 30 seconds. Keep pressing up. And then again, active knee, open it up. Lift yourself off the ground a little bit and just try and create some tension as if you're holding that squat with the hand assisted. Okay, I want you to press both feet into the ground. Come forwards if you like for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And switching sides, place the hands behind you. Open up that knee. And again, so I'm, I'm fairly passive, but I can create some stability by turning on those muscles here, guys. Squeeze the glutes, drive your foot into the ground. And if you wanna come forward again, if that's comfortable, I'm trying to keep my heel on the ground here, so we're not lifting the heel off the ground. I'm gonna hold up for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done, come back into froggy. Big toes together, passive rocks, and 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs open and squeeze your glutes. Try and bring your knees towards each other. And let's ramp it up. Create some tension on the inner thighs. I want to feel those muscles shake. Try not to let them shake though. Try not to let them come on and off. I want you to work and keep them under constant pressure. As if you're trying to pull the knees into the ground, holding, squeeze your bum. Squeeze in harder. And bring your big toes together. And rocking active rocks for 10. Again, same concept, pulling those knees towards one another, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great stuff, guys. Feeling good? Kind of sit on your bum, shake out the hips a little bit. You can do this little internal rotation stretch. So just sit and then drop the knee without lifting off the ground, by the way, on that other hip. So I'm just trying to internal rotate. Everyone's good.
Good stuff. So the next couple drills we're gonna do, we're gonna create a little bit more stability. So I'm gonna give you some time to grab whatever you need on this one. If you have a chair, a uh, nice stable chair, um, or anything to put your hands on. So anything to kind of come into this on fours position, okay? And then anything where I can sit with my hips at my knee height. So any kind of a stable chair. I'll just demo the three exercises if you're still watching. The first one we're gonna do is we're lying on the back. And we're just gonna do some opening up the legs, turning on some muscles on the inside and outside. And then we're gonna be doing this sumo position. Uh, good morning. So I'm sitting nice and wide and my knees are gonna be bent. I'm gonna hold my chest up and then I'm gonna drop down and I'm trying to pull those knees outwards. Okay. And then we're doing a lateral leg lift. So they call these fire hydrants on the hands and knees. I'm gonna lift for 10 here. Okay, so I'll give you another 30 seconds to get set up um, for those drills. Is everyone okay? Some people got chairs. Alrighty. We're gonna get started here. Jean Seb is ready to go dancing in the background. Woo woo! Jean Seb! Or Jean Simon! <laughs> I keep calling you my brother in law's name. So lay on the back, guys. We're gonna start with these little pendulum leg lifts. So we're gonna lift your leg as high as you can without lifting the other leg off. And then I'm gonna drop over to the um, to bring the big toe to the ground and then the pinky to the ground, up to the outside. Okay, for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, squeezing the core muscles, five, hang up, don't rush the movement. Stretching at the bottom and the inside, and then at the outside, get that little stretch in the inner thigh muscles. Four, Three, hang out there. Two. One. And switching sides. Leg up. Straighten the other leg. Lift it as high as you can. And rotating nice and slow. Get that little stretch in the, in the glute down the IT band and the lateral line and then to the outside. And one. Two, take your time. Little stretch in the lower back there as well, maybe. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's come on to the uh, kneeling position or the uh, table position. Grab a nice stable chair and then leg lift. So when I do this, I'm not doing this good. This is no good, okay? I wanna lift and hold and down for 10. Ready, and one, and down. Two, and down, continue. Four, three, and down. Four, and down. 
eight, and down, nine, and down, and ten, and down. Switching legs for ten, and down. Try not to rotate your hips. Be honest with your range. Two, three. So trying to balance a glass of water on the lower back. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Sit on the bum. Legs nice and wide. So I'm going to go 45 degrees outwards on the on the feet. I'm gonna keep my knees over my heels, pull the knees up, and just first of all, squeeze the bum. Squeezing the bum to try and pull those knees open. Nice big proud chest, and sit the bum way back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, Six, challenge that range at the bottom. Five, without letting the chest drop. Try and lead with the belly button. Four. Three. Two. One. Good stuff, guys. Round two on the backs. Red leg up. And to the inside and outside for one, two, keep that leg as close as your chest as you can for three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and switching legs. Ready, and crossing over back to the outside for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fire hydrants. Back to the chair. Ready and lifting for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, use those muscles, five, four, three, two, one, switching sides, four, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great stuff, guys. Seating. Sumo, good mornings. Ready? Position, knees out, glutes on, proud chest. Lead the movement with your belly button, all right? And hang out at the bottom for one, two, three, four, five, Six, 
seven, squeezing the core, eight, nine, and ten. Great stuff, guys. Round three. Hang out on the backs. Ready? And leg up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and the last one we're going to hold on the inside. Nine. And ten. And open that leg up to the outside. And just kind of let that leg stretch. You can grab your leg on your calf. And just pull that leg up as high as you can. Let it drop over to the ground. And switching legs. Ready, leg up, cross it over, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Open it up to the outside. Grab your leg or your knee and let it drop. Try not to let the other hand lift off the ground as you rotate over. Great stuff, everybody. Fire hydrants, 10 more on each leg. And here we go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and switching for 10, 9, less kicking, less momentum, more lifting, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great stuff, guys. Back to the bum. Ready? Here we go. Knees up, glutes on, proud chest. Squeeze the core muscles, leave the movement with your belly button. And be honest with your range. If you're coming all the way down and you're like rounding your lower back, it's no good. Okay? And here we go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Everyone can grab a drink. And um, if you want to grab a yoga block or a couple of books. So just anything to kind of put your bum on top of something for elevation. A couple of books or a yoga block works.
All right. Gonna have a seat onto your mat again. So the blocker in the books is optional. Does someone have a question here in the chat room? I see everyone just fine. Okay, cool, that was a while ago. All right, you're gonna go into a single leg pancake or a half pancake position. So if this position is uncomfortable for you, um, which today I'm actually gonna do my own with myself propped up, you don't have to. Uh, we don't always have to be here, but I'm going to get a little more elevation today to see what that feels like on the hamstring. All right. We're going to be doing some rocks and some holds on both legs and then double legs to finish. Cool? So, first thing we're going to do is you're trying to sit yourself upright as high as you can. If you are struggling with this belly button um, caving in, you want to maybe prop yourself up a little bit higher. If there's pain on the knee, you might want to prop yourself up a little bit higher. And you could also bring the leg inwards if that is more comfortable for you. So for me, I'm gonna go here. And we're gonna start by leading with the belly button forwards. We're gonna come into this overhead reach position and I'm gonna lift my big toe up to the sky and I'm gonna drop over and we're gonna go for 10. All right, nice and slow. Nine, using this oblique to stand back up. Eight. Seven, keep that belly button facing the front. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and holding at the bottom for 10, nine, squeeze your quad, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff, switching legs. One leg out. Get yourself positioned here. Legs nice and wide, as wide as you can. And leading the movement with the belly button. Again, I like to grab my thumb, reaching overhead, and try not to let your body twist. I'm gonna try and open the armpits up to the sky. Hang out at the bottom for 10. Nine, I like to flex that toe to lengthen the hamstring to the sky. Eight. Seven, six, think about squeezing your core. Hang out at the bottom, every rep. Five, four, three, two, and last one, hold in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Whew, it's hard work. All right, we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna come back to the other side. We're gonna do this one facing the, the leg. So I'm gonna turn my body towards my, my shin. Uh, keep yourself upright. Again, prop yourself with another, blo uh, another block or another book if you need to, or reposition the leg here, all right? We're gonna go for the same thing. If you want to go hands overhead, you can, or you can keep your hands on your chest to just to kinda reinforce this upright chest position. Here we go. And 10, nine, I wanna drive that heel into the ground. Active positions, guys. Eight, seven, six, Five, 
four, three, two, and holding for ten, nine, as far as you can, eight, seven, six, active, drive the heel, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, that feels great. Amy, there's your hamstrings that you requested. I just don't like to relax and fall asleep into the stretch. I'm always about the strength, guys. All right, leaning towards the chest on the, the knee, all right? And 10, don't worry, we'll do some passive stretching in a bit. Nine. Eight, drive the heel into the ground and challenge yourself to come back up. Seven. I see some people on camera dropping their chest and rounding their lower back for six. I can go all the way down as well. That's no good here. Okay, five. Nice big proud chest. Four. Three, driving the heel into the ground. Two. And holding. Squeeze your quad, drive your heel for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Okay, let's come into the double leg pancake. Kind of shake up those legs a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, ready? Um, we're gonna go active, passive, and then hold to start. Here we go. Drop it down, leave the movement with your belly button for 10. Nine, toes up. Drive the heels, lengthening the hamstrings. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. As far as you can, squeeze the glutes, drive the heels for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax those hands out and just come into a passive stretch. Come as far as you can and relax. Take a couple big breaths. Another big breath and then reach those hands a little further. some tension. Place your hands on the ground and I want you to drive your heels into the ground as hard as you can. You're going 
Now if you're trying to slightly bend the knees by driving the heels, squeezing the glutes, ramp it up, and try and pull yourself down with, as if you're trying to pull yourself down while resisting with these muscles. Okay, active position. If you wanna go hands out for 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Drop into the stretch, one minute. Focus on your breathing. And relax those muscles. and pull yourself down a little further. Come on now. Shake out the legs. We're going to go one more round. Shaking out the legs, hamstrings, giving the knees a little bit of a break. Okay, back into one more round, guys. This time we're going to go overhead. Okay, so instead of coming out, now I'm going to go back into this overhead position. I'm trying to lead the movement with my belly button as much as I can. So again, if I'm round it like this, no problem. Prop yourself up. It's totally fine to even do this at the height of the chair. All right, here we go. Grab your thumb and to the side, hang out for 10. Nine, half a second hold at the bottom. Eight. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, one, and drop it down and hold. Squeeze those muscles. Active position here, trying to hold it, driving your heels into the ground. Squeeze your bum and resisting the stretch. Come as low as you can while still engaging those muscles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, squeeze a little harder, 2, 1, 0, and drop it down. You want to take the block from out from underneath you, you may do so. Relaxing, another 20 seconds. Good guys. Everybody give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Awesome. Screenshot. <laughs> okay guys, so thanks again. Uh, we're gonna finish with one last thing. Grab a stick or something you can hold on to. Okay, using the wall or a stick and we're just gonna do a couple holds here.
All right, we're gonna start off nice and high. Okay, grab a stick, a broomstick, or just using a doorknob or a wall, it really doesn't matter. This is fine, or if you're doing it with nothing, you can do it stationary, free stem. Cool? Time starts, we're gonna come to a comfortable level. And I want you to pull those inner thigh or feet towards each other. Good. Now I want you to squeeze your core, squeeze your bum, drive your big toes into the ground, holding, 10 more seconds. And walk your feet out a little bit. Come down. Suck in comfortable position. Time starts. We're gonna do two more for a total of four positions. If there's pain on the knee, you might have to readjust your, your feet um, or do it with uh, in a froggy position on the ground with one leg bent, one leg straight. 10 more seconds. Pulling those feet together, guys, nice and strong. And third position, walk it down. 30 seconds starts again. Time starts. So this should be not excruciating. We should be always in control here. Those muscles are working fairly hard. Squeezing the bum. And last position, walk it down a little further. 30 more seconds. Squeezing those muscles. Holding, brace your core. Start to ramp it up. 10 more seconds, guys. Here we go, ramp it up. Everybody give me a big flex for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And drop your hands and just relax and give me a 10 second hold. Just relax a little bit into that stretch for five. Four, three, two, one. Oh, that was amazing. From all the leg work I've been doing, I needed that. So just sit on your bum, walk your feet under, and you can drop your hips a little bit side to side. Just moving the hips around. And then drop into Knees together position, child pose. And just relax those hips and lower back. Take another big breath. Relax. That's it, that's all. Thank you guys again for another awesome session.